Hey guys, Brutal here, welcome back to Subnautica. Here we are for another episode, part number five, I believe. Let me just bring up our HUD. Um, got another message to go. I've still sorted all this out. Got some glass in here, some lubricant, some ores, and all that sort of stuff. Um, Inventory is reasonably clear. So let's um, take this other radio message. Playing partially translated broadcast. Ooh. Okay, that's interesting. Um, where did that come through as? Equipment propulsion cannon, which we don't have yet. That hasn't actually come through. Don't know what that's supposed to be. Ah, voice log. Beacon 1. Don't know how we can rename this. That's the beacon that I put up top, which we didn't really need. Um, we did. We can get rid of that because I've got him. So we need to go to this one here. So let's go out. We'll, um, so there's the beacon there. It's just a waste of time, really. Um, Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Uh, where is it? There we go. It says you can rename it, but I'm not quite sure how. Anyway, let's get out of here. Um, Seamoth is here. Let's check this bad boy out. Let's get in there. Where is that red? It is this way. So, 1,000 metres away. It's over a kilometre away. We'll head straight towards this guy. So you can turn your headlights on or off. If you leave them on, though, you will drain your battery. So, try not to leave it on if you don't need it on. Um, I'm going to need to get this another source of water as well pretty soon. And these sand sharks, I do believe you'll pick up and play with that metal and when they do they actually lose a tooth. So, oop, let's run into something then. Um, they actually lose a tooth so you need to collect those teeth as well. I'm not quite sure what they're for but I have seen that they are a vital part for us to use sort of in the future so we will try and find some of those eventually right, so at the top you can see we're 78 or 80 meters deep now and this says 200 meters so anything below 200 meters this will um, begin to crush the sea moth so we need to be pretty careful not to go more than 200 meters um, try and, I want to try and get like right above it. Uh, try and find, is that where it is? Down here. So let's go down. Oh, it's something. Warning: maximum depth reached. Hull damage right. imminent. There we go. So we'll stay here somewhere. Now we'll go down for a look. I don't know if we have any drama swimming this deep. Alright, let's grab this loot box. Ultra high capacity tank. Awesome. What else is in here? Uh, men and PDA. Okay, what else do we have in here? Nothing. Okay, let's sort of have a bit of a. Oh, battery's gone. Another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Let's um, scan these guys. Eye stalk. We'll. What's this? Uh, oh, open a time capsule. What is that? New creature discovered. Is that something hurting us, or is that something else? Ah, that guy throwing stuff at us, you bugger. Alright, so what else is there? There's something here, another time capsule. Uh, 
Oh, time capsule success. Okay, so we'll need to keep an eye on this. Where's our Seamoth? Straight up there. Um, I can't really see anything else down here. Let's head straight to our Seamoth before we drown. Oh, get the seam off. There we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Bit of a look. Um, can't really see anything of interest at the moment. I want to go and check out these guys. See if we can actually like cut these and see what they actually give us. Um. Okay, just seeds, so we'll just drop those. Oh, we've got a ruby. And a kyanite. I'm not sure what that's for. Hoverfish. Reclaim water. Yeah, we can consume that. Thermoblade. Oh, how good is that? So we can, like, come along and just, like, cut things. There we go, we have cooked fish. Is How good is that? Um, I can't really see much else around here, as I said. That knife looks bloody awesome. Right, let's jump in here. Uh, coming to our beacon manager. Is there another one? So we've got this one and this one. We had the voice log. Keen, this is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. Light pod detached to a cave planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Uh-oh. Alright, so has that given us another beacon? No. We've got the Aurora Dry Land. Uh, the Aurora Dry Land thing. Ooh, we've got something over here that we can look at. This is probably why we could have brought that little... Ooh, that beacon with us is a lot of stuff here. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Alright, so let's park ourselves here. Go and have a bit of a look. A bit of a scout around. We get out the scanner. Not that I can see anything there. Nothing in there. Quartz deposit. I don't know what we can actually use to get that. Let's put that in there. Can we actually use this? No, okay. I figure there's a way that we can get it. I just don't know how. Moon pool fragment. Boom, there we go. We've got the moon pool. Uh, plenty of salt down here. So I can't see a way of getting in here. We might need to bring um, you around. Sea moth. Uh, I don't think there's a way of getting in there. It's fine, let's go down here and have a look. Moonpool fragment again. Thermal plant fragment. Beautiful. Don't have that yet. Uh, what's that? Radio. Nothing. A desk. We can do that for when we get to the point where we can make our own sort of bedroom and stuff. Another moonpool fragment. I want to try and make sure we're going sort of from the outside in so we're not missing anything. It's nothing, nothing there. What was it? Reginald it was called. Ah, what's this? A commander chair? Okay, what else do we have? Desk there, there's something down here. 
cannot really cannot see that well down here. Is that oh gel sap? Not sure what that's for, but we'll pick it up. Uh, don't need to scan that. We'll go back to the sea moth quickly and grab some more oxygen. Go back down to sort of this area and have a look around. Some more stuff to scan. Moon pool again. We already had a look through that part, haven't we? Go up and over. Thermal plant fragment. Boom. New blueprint acquired. Floodlight we've already got. Office chair. Let's bring this guy out so we can use the torch. There's salt and stuff there. It's, what else is over here? What is that? Ooh, I'm staying away from that. That's obviously nothing to do with us. So I should have brought this that beacon with us. Might have come in handy at some stage. Let's go back up a little bit while we're here. Just want to make sure we haven't missed anything. Don't think so. There's a way. There's ways to get in here. Um, I think we'll need to bring the sea moth over here. Just a little bit close. Oh, wrong button. Keep pressing the wrong button. There's something there as well we haven't picked up yet. So I think if we sort of bring you down a little bit. There we go. Go and check this out first. Data box. Vehicle upgrade console. Awesome. Oh, we don't have a torch though to get into here. Um, where is laser cutter? Can go there. No, nope, not going to let us cut that one. Can we cut this one? Okay, so they're both locked. Is there a way in? Much, Ooh, not much to see in here. It's usually always a way in somewhere. Ah, here we go. Yes, modification station fragment is what we need. What else do we have in here? Some more things. Modification station fragment. Another one. Beautiful. So... Cut. Okay, so let's... Cut this to open... This door. We have to go straight back to the sea moth. Grab some more oxygen before we even think about coming into here. It's been, um... Quite a good episode, I think, for finding things. Ah, uh, where are we? Here he is. Fill her up. Let's go back down. Uh, 17%. Where is that? There it is. Alright, what have we got in here? Another reinforced dive suit. Modification station fragment. Modification station. A couple of pictures there, I think. That might be 
nearly it. Oh, a modification station staff. Modification again. There's nothing we need to do there. Um, let's make sure nothing else is popping up. Oh. Power cell charger fragment. We do need another one though, but at least now we've got one. Out here, let's find our Seamoth. Welcome aboard, Captain. I think we need to sort of start heading back. Oh, that's the wrong rendezvous point. There we go, this way. So, probably I can make some of those beacons, and if I can work out how to rename them, that'll be good. Let's go towards the surface because I cannot see anything. So if we go sort of closer to the surface we shouldn't hit anything. We've got a little bit of damage but we can repair that with our repair tool. I think that's a... yeah it is. Reef back. Guys are bloody awesome. Love them. So I wonder if we can take on these sharks now. And actually take one of those guys out. So I thought the beacon that we were getting was actually a beacon for our home base. But um, obviously I was wrong. I'm going to need to organise... To the oh, Jesus, run straight into that. <laughs> We're to the south of, or east, I should say, southeast of our um, life pod is where our home base is. So let's jump into here. Welcome I'm gonna to have to Captain. chuck a whole heap of titanium in here. Nope. Um, lubricant, I think I might put um, ruby kyanite in there. What else do you have? A gel sack. Can consume that. Uh, hover fish. Not quite sure. We can put um, this knife away because we don't really need him now. Going to here. Can we cook? Okay, cooked hoverfish should be fine. What else do we have here? Ooh, advanced materials, aerogel. Oh, we don't need a wiring kit. Okay, so let's look in here. What else did we get that was new? Reinforced dive suit, synthetic fibers, diamond, and some titanium. So we don't have um, a lot of that stuff. So lead, gold, copper. So copper, lead, uh, gold, silver, and some nickel. Is nickel a new one? Because I don't have a nickel chest yet. Must be. I'll just stick it in the silver one for now. Right, we could eat that. So I need to try and get some water as well. We don't have much H2O on us. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Done. So I think we've already found signal 3, so I've done both of those guys. Ah, uh, blueprints, aerogel, reinforced dive suit, which we can't do right now. Seamoth depth mark two, blah blah blah. God, we've got lots of stuff. Prawn jumpsuit, gas torpedo, Seamoth sonar. God, there's lots of stuff here that I've never even seen before. The moon pool. 
Vehicle docking bay with high energy and structural requirements. Two titanium ingots, lubricant and two lead. Lubricant. Uh, are we two? No, that's gold, not lead. Two lead and some titanium ingots. Done. Uh, let's make two titanium ingots. We can get that made so that way we can actually dock our sea glide now. We'd probably be a lot better than what we're doing now. Alright, so get out of there. I will put our habitat builder back into there. Oop, wrong button. We'll go moon pool. Oh, jeez, this thing is massive. Um, okay, which way? Can we spin it around? I don't think so. Let's put it there. How much does this take, though, like, power-wise? Boom. Minus five. It's a whole strength. Alright, so, now what do we do? Do we dock that on there somehow? We go underneath. Aha, like this. After weeks without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Beautiful. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. Yep, cool. Um, okay, what else do we have that's new? Um, a scanner room. Well, we want to get this multi-purpose room for sure sometime soon. A thermal plant. What else do we have in here? A vehicle upgrade console. Building the moon pool. Computer. Copper wire. Titanium times three. Oop. So we're going to need... Um, where's the copper wire? should be here somewhere. Here it is. So two or... Ah, uh, where's our computer? So we need four copper, one gold, and two table co um, coral. So four copper, one gold. If we jump, whoop, wrong button. Find some table coral, which is right here. Seek fluid intake. Yep, we will. Can we find? We go. Oh, you bugger. Where did you go? Oh, there's one down here. Platterfish. What are we going to take on this guy? I don't know. He farted, though. How close we need to get. Did we get him? We did. Good. We'll give us some food. Where is. We need more water though. Ooh, look at this little bugger swimming away from us. That's it. We need to trap them. Ooh. That up. There we go, there's another one. God, I'm terrible at hitting these things. We probably need to get like one of those gravity ball things. Are there any more? Butter fish. There we go, can we see another one? Another one just here. Any more before we get back? Nope, okay. Can we actually. No, we can't jump in through there, okay. 
Alright, so we needed um, two copper wire and a computer chip. So I think if we go into here and go. Oh, still need two more titanium. Uh, where is our vehicle bay? Around this way, isn't it? Does it matter where it goes, or it's got to be put in a certain spot? Certain spot. Oh, there we go. Throw this guy in. Boom! Fully charged. You can go common modules. Seek fluid intake immediately. Ah, Seamoth modules. A lot of stuff in there. Prawn suit. I don't even know what a prawn suit is. God, we're going to need a lot of stuff for that. Vortex torpedo, gas torpedo. Alright, so I'll need to look at that later on. I really have no idea what we're doing with that yet. Um, we need to make bleach. How do we make bleach again? Salt deposit and coral tube sample. Okay, we do have some salt. So let's go and grab some... Um, coral tube samples there we go. I can actually sort of once I get all this done I'm gonna wanna have like storage everywhere with bleach and salt and all that sort of stuff did I put a salt? no we didn't it's over here somewhere Grab that. Let's make some bleach first. Quickly make some uh, water. Oops. Go okay, we'll get out of there and we'll grab a few of these guys into us. There we go. We'll go back in. Make some more. I don't know how long um, the food lasts for though if we put it in like a storage locker here somewhere. I'll grab some filter water as well. Grab a bit of everything. Food's pretty good, so we need to keep our food and water above 90 for us to continue to regain or regenerate our health. Is that enough? No, we've still got more. So I'm going to need to build a couple of extra storage, oops, storage spots. Go like a wall locker there somewhere. Look on this and go water. Um, I think we're good for water now, but I want to keep one on us at all times. It says old, so I don't know. We'll make another one and see what happens with these guys. Food. Uh, Put you in there. Put some of this tube coral sample stuff in there. Uh, put this away. Let's have another quick look and see what else is new. Okay, so we don't have a diamond. We don't have a battery charger. Power cell we don't have. Um, I want to get an aquarium. Aquarium would be pretty cool. So we've got a few things here. But I need to get this uh, multi-purpose room done first. We need to find that cannon as well. Uh, acid shroom. So I'm going to put like probably holy good places for us to plant things down here eventually. Let's grab another radio message. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. 
Aurora, I'm out the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's going to have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Alright, beautiful. Rightio guys, we'll get outside and we'll have a look um, at what we've done today. So we have put in our, our pool room, I guess you can call it. So this is given us the ability to dock our Seamoth now, so quick screenshot of that. So we'll be able to swim in from underneath and Welcome work out. Uh, can we use the ladder here? Maybe not. Oh, there we go, climb ladder. Then we can just grab our Seamoth from here, I guess. If we can so I'm stuck there for some reason. I jump, jump straight in. Health, energy fully charged. So if we go to four. Oh, wrong button. Welcome aboard Cal Systems wanna, Online. I want to go back in. Can we go back in? There we go. I was meant to right click, not left click. So we go to the repair tool. There we go, repairing. Done. And then obviously access upgrades, which we don't have anything at the moment. We can upgrade from there. But um, yeah, radio right guys, we've got a little bit done today. Um, next episode, we might head over to the Aurora and just have a bit of a look around and see what we can find. So we're going to need to grab our radiation helmet um, and put that on. And then put away this helmet. Um, I might put the sea glide away as well. We probably don't really need that at the moment. We're going to need another battery for our flashlight. Habitat builder can go away. The scanner, repair tool, laser cutter, and all that can come with us. Um, but yeah, I need to build another battery for our flashlight. So we'll get that done as well. But um, right out, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment and let me know if you've been enjoying it so far and what you want to see from here on out. It's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.